am a student at WGU. I work full time and commute uh, two hours out of my day. So WGU um, being very mobile and uh, current and up to date. It's a fantastic university to attend. Papers are rigorous and so are the tests. And but yet I have a community through social media um, that keeps me on task and they have one mentor for you throughout your whole entire degree progress and you get that uh, interaction and community uh, touch points if you do electronic well you're going to succeed um, okay so today what you're looking in front of you is my own uh, degree plan I have a I'm going to be working on my first degree being a bachelor of science in business administration management and then uh, my class I'm focusing on pardon me, uh, is the U U.S. history. And that class, I know I have four, four papers to finish. And my primary focus here today is how can I write the paper without bouncing back and forth on, okay, here's the curriculum. I have to have the curriculum open, the objective tests, and anything else the professor throws at you. If you're a student and you know instructors, professors can really over inform you and over instruct you and give you 50 different locations to get it done. So what I do is actually embed it inside my paper that I'm writing. And right now, let me turn off um, the comments because what you usually see is a very simple paper and you start writing and then you have your books next to you. Uh, right now I've finished tasks and I'll show you my my messy notes that are in Microsoft OneNote. This is the, the directions for each task that we're supposed to accomplish. It's very informative and we have um, professors and um, instructors and tutors at our fingertips um, probably within the day within a couple hours usually. And so here's all my scribbles and copy pastes of the curriculum. So we won't get into that. But that's what I've been collecting so I could answer that. So this is my little dirty, messy area where I just put all the information and put it in here. So this is task A1 and A2. This being a task A1 and A2. So I already have the outline laid out. Um, the way I keep all the information in Word is basically I want to really show my comments. Um, what I do is I put the instructions in these little comments. And you can easily just highlight anything and add a comment, a new comment. And you can say hello and send it. That's terrific. But actually I don't want that so I can delete that. Delete that thread and it's gone. Right here you can see a little check mark off that. I already marked it off as resolved. But I can left click it and here it is. Here's my instructions. That may not be the intended purpose for comments but I absolutely love it because the content of what I'm writing is here and the instructions of what really should be in here. This will elevate your markings um, if it's um, uh, exemplary or it's competent. Um, at WGU you have to graduate with a B or better. C is not passing. So uh, you can actually get an exemplary marking for your papers. And let's close out of that. So that's the one way where I keep the context and the other way is view navigation pane where you can see that where you're at when you're typing. Let's say I am on task B. So let's go ahead and go to the outline. See how that says A1 and this is A1, that's A2 and this is A2. I'm going to go to B and it jumps to it. So as I commute um, a couple hours out of my day, I'd like to sit down and jump exactly out. Where should I be? Where do I start? Where's the content? Here's all my instructions of what I should do in the comments. And then if I have the curriculum in another window, I'm off to the races. 
Um, half of my battle is finding where I stopped last. So that's for all of us, huh? Um, so there's that. And I wanted to share those little tidbits. Thanks for listening.